First and foremost, the partnership we have with God. And that's right from the beginning in the book of Genesis, in the creation when God created. I tell you what, friends, we get so busy with this relationship and partnership and that relationship and partnership that we forget the most important. And this morning, I feel like the Father is wanting to remind us, you're in partnership with me before you're in partnership with anyone else. Can you imagine partnering with God, being on His side, worshiping and hearing Him, getting strategy from Him? Having His resources. Somebody said, if God be your partner, make your plans large. How large are our plans? Most of us, if we're honest, our plans are made based on what we carry rather than what God said. Now, this is not hyper faith. And I'm challenged by what I'm saying. You realize, right? The Bible is the mirror, not just the lens. I'm challenged with everything I'm saying to you. But there's a challenge from our Father in our ranks, at least, for us to trust Him for what He can do. Do you know that there's only two, in all four Gospels, there's only two miracles that exist in all four Gospels. The one is the resurrection, which is the greatest miracle of all. But there's only one other miracle in all four Gospels. Do you know what that is? It's the feeding of the 5,000. And while they are presented differently, that's the only miracle that exists in all four Gospels other than the resurrection. You wonder why that is. Well, I don't believe anything's by default or mistake. God doesn't... Oh, I shouldn't have put that in. Let me delete. It's all there, inspired by God for a reason. Would you agree? And I want to say, maybe give me some license this morning, but why is that miracle in all four Gospels? Well, I believe it depicts life itself. That a man, the Son of God, standing there with five loaves and two fish, 5,000 men, plus women and children, close to 15,000, but let's stick with 5,000 because it says that. 5,000 men, five loaves, two fish. How many of you know that's not enough? How many of you know God knew that wasn't enough? And I want to suggest God wanted that not to be enough. And he wanted it in all four gospels. For what reason? For you and I to understand the vision that is before us if we're in partnership with God, will always be bigger than the provision we carry in our pocket. 